Alright everyone, welcome back to Backseat Gamer. We got a new game going on, and we've got a new special, special guest today. <laughs> My buddy, Nick. Fucking Nick. Fucking Nick, how you doing, man? Happy to be here. <laughs> Happy to be here playing some Star Fox 64. Nick is uh, visiting from Florida. Yeah. And uh, would you say it's pretty hot down there right now? It's nice It's nice to be up here. A little bit cooler. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt mass, right now. Mass. Yeah. <laughs> Massachusetts. That uh, that got Roger going a little bit. The, the talking about my clothing. So. Oh my god. Uh, so Nick is only here for a week. We got him here for a week for a special edition of the Backseat Gamer. This is gonna be kind of a mini series because this game doesn't. There's Star Fox 64 though. God damn, this game is amazing. Absolutely, yeah. I I've made it a point uh, to anybody who will listen to me that anytime I'm back at home, I'll play through this game once just to. You know, take you back to nine every time. time. Every time, yeah. You know, it only takes an hour. You know, hour, yeah. hour or so. so it's yeah. such a great, like, just killing time. Let's and we'll go right into it. Just boom, bam. Here we go, main game. Hit it. Hell yeah. Hit it, yeah. baby. I'm, I'm feeling it right Hit now. Hit those G diffusers. <laughs> I think that's what they're called. I think. Oh god, here we go. A little, do little backstory. Do we want to? Do we want to watch the, the Star Wars? I mean, thing? yeah, we gotta get a little get a little context while while we're blowing shit up. This was intimidating, man. Like I always was like, you know, because I was never the hugest Star Wars guy. Uh -huh. But I imagine this was what it was like in the movie theaters in like the late seventies, and people were like, oh, oh, oh gotta do some reading. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're throwing words at me. This must be serious. Wow. Absolutely. And then you get some history, too. Yeah. You get, like, the, you know, the James McLeod. So that's, yeah, that's the original Star Fox team right there. Papa, Papa McLeod. <laughs> the sunglasses on. Dude, Peppy Man's, like, the second generation helping out the sun, too. Yeah. yeah. So, so basically, this is saying, you know... The first Star Fox team, they got ambushed by Andros because Pigma, that fat son of a bitch, <laughs> turned his back on the team and for, for money or whatever, hookers, pig hookers, I don't even know. I don't know what pigs, people have sex with, but he got that, I'm sure. Yeah. And they form a new Star Fox team, and Andros is back. Andros is back. So Fox has got a bone to pick with him. So we're jumping right in. Corn area, stage one. We're going to get him. This is the most Earth-looking planet. <laughs> what did you What did you think when you first played this game about like the characters and like the way they talk, kind of like puppets? Oh, I mean, when I was eight, this was like with these graphics. Like, how did they ever figure this out? Like, this is incredible shit. <laughs> oh yeah, this is this is. I mean, obviously, this is made for the Nintendo 64. It's Star Fox 64, so obviously, I would just cut cut through that cutscene. Oh yeah, sorry. I don't give a shit about that. And we're in it. We're in the shit. <laughs> we're in the shit. Locking on. Oh. Blowing shit up. Hit plus one. Dude, so it was always key. I never realized how key it was to, like, lock on to people and get, like, extra hits and shit like yeah. that. Yeah. Now, oh. when did you first, like, realize you could lock on to people? Oh, I mean, pretty early on. I knew it was really? a thing you could do, but I don't think I really got, See, you know, from, the benefit of it. See, for me, like, I think when I first played this game, I was just playing it like old Star Fox, and I was just, like, jamming on the A button. Okay. Just shooting everything. Yeah. But then it must have been like just one random time where like I I hit the A button for too long and I locked on. Yeah. But when that happened, my eyes must have like jumped out of my face because <laughs> I lost all of my shit. And I'm pretty sure my sister was there because I mean it was this, this was a huge game when this oh, yeah. came out. This came out it sold like gangbusters. It was the, I think it's the second or third highest selling. 64 game. I might be wrong about that. I think it's like I think it's like Mario 64. I might be four. Mario 64, GoldenEye probably. Uh, Legend uh, Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time, and then probably this. But I know this like broke records for like the high the fastest selling video game when it first came out. It had to. Uh, yeah, I mean, everybody I knew was playing this game. Yeah. So I mean, when this game came out, it was like, oh, Mario 64. We're jumping around, and then. Oh my God! We're playing Star Wars right now. <laughs> like this is this was Star Wars. So here's a critical moment, by the way. This took me at least a couple years. Uh, that's probably an exaggeration, but to figure out how to use the left track 
Yeah. First of all, you had to save this I asshole. Yep. I did, yeah. <laughs> and he's, he's not even. He's not even like grateful. Remotely happy. He's not he's grateful. Like, he's like, oh, thanks. I guess I could have handled it. He do a barrel roll. You know, Falco was what I imagine like. Do you remember? Remember the movie Grease? And there was that guy with like the horrendous <laughs> acne who would like come up to them be, and like steal their girls and oh, stuff like that. Oh, uh, he was part of the Scorpions. Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah. They just called him Crater Face, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I imagined Falco to be. He's just kind of like a douche. See, look, like that but, comment's not but he can too. he can dri drive one hell of a car. That, <laughs> oh, that yeah. Scorpion. So here we go. AKA Crater Face. It actually took me until for my uncle to tell me like, oh yeah, you gotta fly through the arches to go unlock those other worlds. Yep. And that was a seminal moment in my yeah. childhood when I realized that you could actually go to those places on the left of the screen and they weren't just I think some bullshit. I think like uh, the way I found found out about it fuck you Falco. Yeah. Um, the way I found out about it was I got I subscribed to Nintendo Power at the time and I got this like Confidential DVD, like sneak peek DVD. Of, oh, oh, oh yeah. not DVD. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. VHS. Yeah. Uh, about Star Fox and it coming out and showing you like the features, mm -hmm. and I'm pretty sure it showed you that secret, like, oh, go through all the arches and something special might happen. But still, when it when I did it the first time, it was like, oh my God, there's different paths you can take in this in this game. So great. So this is like the this isn't the boss you're supposed to fight. This is the the side boss, yeah. The alternate ending for all the cool kids. Having the blue, definitely having the blue laser is key at this point because you just pretty much <laughs> take out these appendages, I guess, like one yeah. or two times. Oh, yeah. Robo appendages, yeah. Yeah, you can call them. If, I, if I may, if I may. Um, but you are doing fantastic right now. Thank you very or much. One, I mean, we actually full full disclosure, we were planning on doing this last year. And Nick came back, and he had the week off again. <laughs> Nick just got scared by that that flying robot I appendage. Had to, I had to dodge it, but yeah, yeah. he had to dodge it in the real world. Yeah. IRL, as the kids <laughs> like to say, IRL. You yeah. ever see someone text that to you? IRL. Yeah. I, oh, I know what it means. I don't yeah. know if I have people. Oh. Oh. Oh, did I lose my wing? No. Okay. Dude. No, no. <laughs> I thought you lose the laser. That's a big deal. Uh, um. Yeah. Uh, the heck was I saying about appendages? Uh, we meant to do this last time. Oh yeah, we we're gonna do this. Yeah, screw you, a cap guy, whatever his name was. Good job, bye. By the way. Hell yeah, man. Um, did I make it over a hundred? Get that extra life? I'm pretty sure you did. Um, yeah, last year we we're gonna do this. You're here for a week, and then it was like Ryan's. Uh, yeah, you got it because it was accomplished. Okay. Um, Ryan's like we were used to record on Ryan a little back background, a little behind-the-scenes action. Ryan's laptop, we used to record for Castlevania. We did all of Castlevania on Ryan's laptop, mm -hmm. and then it crashed like a motherfucker. Yep. And that probably had to do with it being a very old laptop in terms of laptops. Yeah. I mean, the max amount of memory it had on it was 75 gigs? No, no, no. It was more than that. It was like 150 gigs. Okay. Or something crazy, ridiculous like that by now times is nothing. Yeah. <laughs> For as far as laptops go. So, we're gonna go, you're gonna go this route. Yes. Okay, Sector Y. Is there a reason why you prefer this over the alternate? Uh, it was just, it was just more fun, and once I ever got, once I got the hang of, like, the arches or whatever, it was just no going back to the other side. <laughs> um, so the top side is, like, the, the harder, the more challenging stages. Yeah. Actually... I don't know if you knew that. Uh, I think I kind of got the gist of that. I don't know if it was ever like said to me, but I think yeah. I saw it. Like, this is harder. Yeah. Um, I can't remember the last time I played, but there was actually a world, wherever that was, somebody showed it to me, that I had never even been to Like in my years and years of playing Star Fox on the right side. Um, you remember, can't re remember what stage it was? No, I think it was one like... It wasn't the one on the train tracks. It was something. I think it was like right beyond that. And I was like, "Whoa! I've never even been to this before." Was it a tank stage, or I think it was a tank stage, but it wasn't the one just on the train tracks. Was it the desert one where you have to save Slippy? Yes. I actually, yes. Did, I think that was last year we did that. That had to have been you. I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah last year we did that, and yeah, I just remember your reaction and be like, "Whoa!" <laughs> like, I've never had my eyes set 
on the stage before. Yeah, dude. It was saving, crazy. saving Slippy. Yeah, I mean, and nobody wants to do that in general. No, so. a Slippy is a waste of space. Um, another reason why I really wanted to do this with you was I don't know if you know this, but a new Star Fox game just came out. I do know that. Yes. Yeah, and I have it, and oh. it's it's pretty freaking fantastic, but it's getting a lot of like heat for like changing the controls. Uh, quite a bit. Okay. Like, you'll have these kind of stages right here, and the way it controls is kind of the same. Now, is it a remake? I'm sorry to interrupt. Um, kind of. It's kind of like a reboot. Kind okay. Of. Like, they kind of do, like, this, the first story, Andros, and Fox's father's died. Yeah. And, like, they just start the new Star Fox team. It's kind of, like, kind of the same thing. But the stages are different. Uh, like, uh, except for Corn Area, the first stage is the same. Okay. Pretty, pretty much. Um, yeah. But the controls... You can actually, because uh, with the Wii U, they have the gamepad screen on yeah. it. You can actually, like, look at the gamepad screen. You're in the cockpit, and you can actually turn it almost 360 degrees around. Oh, so wow. you can, like, shoot guys, like, right right behind you. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's pretty cool, but, like, people think it's a little too, like, um, jarring to, like, switch your view from the TV screen to the gamepad screen so much. I can see that, yeah. Which, I understand, but I feel like if you play the game for more than, like, 15 minutes, you, get you just it. get used to it. Like, you just subconsciously know when to look, you know? Yeah. And that's, uh, that's a problem with people. That's a problem with kids today. <laughs> they don't like to take the time to learn new controls yeah. because we gave them these great controls, like, 20 years ago, yeah. and they don't want to move on from that. BS. Like, I remember... They, I don't think kids will appreciate the difference that joystick that you're using right now made on games. Yeah. Because before that, it was just the, the control pad, the D-pad. Yep. That's how we knew how to control characters. Then yep. when Nintendo stuck a stick on a controller, they were like... Fuck, man, my brain! It's all over the It's all over the place. Like, Well, I mean, the only stick they probably had at that point was like Pong. Where, oh, yeah, like, Atari. Was, or yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. Frauder going across the street. But you weren't controlling, like, a 3D, like, yep. on a different plane, basically. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, so you just got that package from uh, Rob, I believe. Rob, Rob64, yeah, I need a couple bombs and wasted some. Did you? I didn't even notice. Yeah, I was just throwing them out there. Yeah. That's how much on backseat of gaming I'm doing. <laughs> not even, I can't even notice when you're using bombs. God, I'm a shill. Shill of myself. Yeah, that's how you knew that shit was going down when Fox came in and was going all range mode. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this was awesome, too. Like, the first time we do this. Yeah. There's, like... It's, like... This whole first episode was us gonna be just, like... Just in awe of this game, basically. <laughs> like, this is all we've talked about for, like, 13 minutes. Yeah. It's just talking about how awesome this game is. Well, people probably already know that if they're watching this. They probably yeah. already know that this is a really cool game. Yeah, they were probably hyped. <laughs> yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh, shit. These guys were tough. They were definitely tough to, like... I mean, you gotta, like, kind of spin around to get them, and... Yeah. Hey, gotta Shut use the map. Up. Yeah. Map was big. That was a good map, too. I mean, it definitely, <laughs> like... You knew where you were. Yeah, that's all you can ask for. They yeah. were who they thought... <laughs> who we thought they were. <laughs> that's a that's a football coach reference, if people don't know that. <laughs> but what, who, what coach was that again? That was uh, Dennis Green. Of the... Is that the Panthers? Arizona no, Cardinals. all the Cardinals. Yeah. <laughs> Against the Bears. Oh, uh, yeah, there was the Bears, yeah. Ah, uh, Bears. One of the most infamous <laughs> lines in football history. That was... They were who they who we thought they were. That was uh, when the Bears were quarterbacked by... Uh, Rex Se Gross. Sexy Rats. Sexy, sexy Rex Gross. I think that's just the, the name for Took anybody. him to the Super Bowl that year. He did. Him and, uh, I think that team was pretty much him. Pretty sure anyone Hester. could have taken to the Super Bowl that year. Yeah. Well, I was the oh, year... Oh, Hester just getting returning touchdowns. That was the year Peyton Manning won. And, uh, Devin Hester started the game off with a kick return. I remember that. It was pretty sweet. <laughs> Devin Hester. From my boy, you. my boy, Devin Hester, if you're watching this, <laughs> shout-outs to you. You were the man. Now, that would be incredible. Uh, you are the man. You're alive. Yes. Yeah. You're, <laughs> you're just not that man anymore. Shots fired. <laughs> taking a drink of my ginger ale. I didn't know you were going to go that far on the land talking about death and things like that. <laughs> you got to warn me when we're hitting the deep Oh, side. God. All right, so we're done with mission two, but we're going to jump right into the... What, what, we're going to jump into the next mission in the next episode.
But Nick, you're just like cool and collected. Yeah, I don't, I don't see you getting messed up in this game. Well, this, this is a little bit of an issue here. Oh, you Pepe's have, hurt. Yeah, yeah, you never want your guys all the way down like that. I think I took a few shots at Pepe during the thing. That was the problem. Yeah, during the mission. A little, little friendly fire. You get a little health back. Yeah. Two hundred twenty-eight. Oh, well, you know what? God damn, dude. <laughs> well, you know the thing. I'm about to get him some more health because I'm going into the ocean this one, right? Mm -hmm. I think that's nuts. If you go to the oh, right, I have no idea. I'm pretty sure that's nuts. Yeah, you get the. Fucking submarine. Oh god! But if you, if well, I we'll have plenty of time to talk in that episode because this is one of the most boring, yeah, stages in I the should, game. You know what? I should have tried to go right because if you go to that one there, the Independence that, Day one. That's yeah, with Bill. Whoever Bill is, he's like a dot or some shit, and he's yeah. controlling. You know. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do this in the next episode of the Backseat Gamer, and stay tuned. All right, I promise, it's gonna happen for real. Later.